everybody. It's June the 1st, so you know what that means. We're starting a new scripture writing plan. So I want you all to get your Bibles and your notebooks if you want, and a pen or pencil. Um, or if you want to just get your Bible and read along with me, that's fine too. Um, my name is Cherie McGinnis, and I welcome you to my channel. And I hope that you enjoy our video today. We're going to be doing our scripture writing, so let me uh, put the camera down to where you can see where we're writing and reading, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I think that's a pretty good view. Um, let's get our scripture writing plan out. It's dealing with the devil this month. So, um, this came from the Ruffled Mango. It's a scripture writing plan. I get off of Pinterest, but the Ruffled Mango is the one that's, uh, that's uh, doing the scripture writing plan. Uh, day one, the first day of June, is Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. So, let's go to Genesis 3, chapters 1 through 5. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to be reading this out of the Women's Study Bible, New King James Version. And this is the temptation and fall of man. And if you hear that, that's gizmo. No gizmo. Okay. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God had said, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. And then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat it, and uh, eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Boy, he's very cunning, that serpent, wasn't he? <laughs> Isn't God the same way in our lives? Tells us lies and gets us thinking things we shouldn't will be true and different things like that. So anyway, I also have that here in the New Living Translation. And this one says, the man and woman sin. And this one says, the serpent was the shrewdest of all the wild animals the Lord God had made. One day he asked the woman, Did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of the trees in the garden? Of course we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, the woman replied. It's only the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden that we are not allowed to eat. God said you must not eat it or even touch it. If you do, you will die. You won't die, the serpent replied to the woman. God knows that your eyes will be opened as soon as you eat it, and you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. He tried to make it sound like, you know, that's really something. You'd be like God, trying to get her to become like her own God. And that's not good. So let's write our scripture out, and then I'm going to read over some of the things on the scripture. So, hang on just a second. Okay. Yeah, well, get me an ink pen out of this uh, ink pen case, and this I get, uh, I got off of eBay. I did a little uh, what's in my handbag the other day, and uh, and um, I went over this in there. I get most everything from eBay, just about everything I get from eBay. Um, let's see here. I think I'll do this color this time. Now, the way I do it, which you do it however you want to, I'm going to use my little pad of happy notes. Um, I had a uh, another notebook that had notes similar to this on it that my bestie got me. Um, but I'm using my little, uh, my smaller pad of um, happy notes for this month. So, this is June, the sixth month. Okay. And we are doing Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. And this month, the scripture writing plan is dealing with the devil. Boy, we all do that, don't we? 
Yeah, he will aggravate the tar out of us. Just got to be one up on him, don't we? Okay. Can you see here? Okay. The serpent was the shrewdest of all the wild animals. the Lord God had made. <laughs> Here comes Gizmo. Never fails. Now one day he asked the woman Gizmo. Did God really say? You must not eat. The fruit From any of the trees in the garden. <laughs> of course, we may eat fruit. trees in the garden <laughs> like silly <laughs> oh my goodness she's getting took advantage of the woman replied It's only the fruit from the tree. <laughs> Your daddy's holding for you. In the <laughs> middle of the garden. That we are not. Listen to him in there. Can you hear him? He is so silly, a rat dog. <laughs> He's goofy over him. Uh, so it's a good thing that we weren't together when we were old enough to have kids, because I'd hate to see that. He's so particular with Gizmo. <laughs> it's the tree in the middle of the garden that we're not allowed to eat. God said, you must not eat. You must not eat it. Or even touch it. If you do, you will die. Silly old devil. 
You won't die. Yeah, okay, here we go. You won't die. Just like, oh, come on. You won't die. The serpent replied to the woman. God knows. That your eyes. I'm making a video. That your eyes. Will be opened. As soon. As you eat it. And you will be like God. <clears throat> Knowing both good and evil. Now, let's go over a few things on here first. I've got the Life Application Bible here. And if you're all still finishing up your verses or whatever, that's fine. Um, it says, Disguised as a shrewd serpent, Satan came to tempt Eve. At one time, Satan had been a glorious angel, but in pride, he rebelled against God and was cast out of heaven as a created being, and Satan has definite limitations. Although he's trying to tempt everyone away from God, he will not be the final victor. God promises that Satan will be crushed by the uh, crushed by one of the woman's offspring, the Messiah. Why does Satan tempt us? Temptation is Satan's invitation to give in to his to his kind of life and give up on God's kind of life. Um, Satan tempted Eve and succeeded in getting her to sin. Ever since then, he's been busy getting people to sin. He even tempted Jesus, but Jesus did not sin. Um, um, how could Eve have resisted temptation? Well, there's many reasons, and it's going to tell us here what the reasons are, but you can think about it for a minute. What could she have done to not to have been tempted by Satan? By following the same guidelines that we can follow. First, we must realize that being tempted is not a sin. Being tempted is not a sin. We have not sinned until we give in to the temptation. Then, to resist temptation, we must pray for strength to resist, run, sometimes literally, <laughs> and say no when controlled with what we know is wrong excuse me, when confronted with what we know is wrong. James 1.12 tells of the blessings and rewards for those who don't give in to, in when tempted. James 1.12. Let's go see what James 1.12 says, won't you? James 1.12. Hebrews James. I ain't got there yet. Hebrews James, right here. James 1. James 1.12 right here God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation afterward they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him see there so Satan would love anything but better not that, to just not have us go to heaven and to rebel against God Okay, um, Satan used a, a sincere motive to tempt Eve. You will be like God. It wasn't wrong of Eve to want to be like God. To become more like God is humanity's highest goal. It is what we are supposed to do. But Satan misled Eve concerning the right way to accomplish this. 
He told her that she could become more like God by defying God's authority, by taking God's place, and deciding for herself what was best for her life. Mm. That is not good. Self-exaltation leads to rebellion against God. As soon as we begin to leave God out of our plans, we are placing ourselves above Him, and this is exactly what Satan wants us to do. That is what we cannot do. God is number one, always number one, always. So we have learned here today that God does tempt, or excuse me, Satan does tempt us. But we cannot give in to those temptations because we need to go to God and pray about it. Uh, if you don't have the strength to resist, you need to pray about it. Walk away. And that way you don't get into any trouble like that. Um, Adam and Eve got what they wanted, an intimate knowledge of both good and evil. But they got it by doing evil, and the results were disastrous. Sometimes we have the illusion that freedom is doing anything we want. But God says that true freedom comes from obedience and knowing what not to do. The restrictions he gives us are for our own good, helping us avoid evil. We have the freedom to walk in front of a speeding car, but we don't need to be hit to realize that it would be the foolish thing to do. So don't li listen to Satan's temptations so you don't have to do evil to gain more experience and learn more about life. And that is so true that, um, you know, we don't have to do things like evil and Ugh, and not obey what God says. Now, I'm going to take this page here, and if I can find, uh, where did she take it here? Somewhere. Where did I put it? I had a little doodad in here. Let's do that. Oh, there it is. Okay. Got a little bit of washi tapes in here. I am not an artist. So, I use a lot of stickers, okay? So, I'm going to use this fun tape, this border right here. I'm going to put him down here on the bottom. And I think if I cut around the right in here of this car, we ought to be about right. We're going to cut about right there, okay? And let's peel him off. And put him down here on the bottom. <laughs> I feel like Bob Ross and put a happy little tree right here. <laughs> Remember the painter Bob Ross one? He's awesome. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can get it over. I have the hardest time placing this stuff ever was. Some people just whack, just put it on there, but. There we go. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Okay, we got some washi on there, and then I'm going to see if I've got some stickers or something here that I might want to put on there. We're talking about sin, and uh, we're talking about uh, not giving in to temptation, so we want to make sure that we do not do that. These cute little things. I love the little fruits too. They're cute. I want to find one that is kind of colorful here. Oh, there's the minions. Mm. Okay, let's see what we got here that might go with our theme. He is my Lord. Those are pretty and colorful. Um, the truth will set you free. Um, gifted, glory, restored. I don't want to use the washi tapes because, uh, you know what I could do... Well, here, let's do, uh, let's see something here. Okay, I 
tell you what I'm going to do. Let me take, let's see if I can get this off. Okay, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it right here. Okay, then I think what I'm going to do is, let me see if I can find, yeah, these little stars instead. Okay, and let me take, where we read here what we can do if we're tempted by the devil. I think what I'm going to do, if I can get these up from here, is, hang on just a second, let me look at that again. I think what I'm going to do is this. Okay, let me get in here. Okay, it said, and I will put this in a different color. I'll put this in blue. Okay, this is like, um, how to resist temptation. Do that. Okay, first thing we got to do is, we said number one, where am I here? Pray for strength to resist. We want to pray for strength. to resist. Okay, then the second thing we want to do I need to get my little tweezers out but I don't want to take the time to do it. Okay. Okay, whoops. <laughs> he scooted over on me. Get over there. Where do you think you're doing? There, you get down there. Are you not going to stick? Are you not going to stick for me? You know what? I'll fix you. <laughs> Put some little glue down here for you, little mister. Now you're going to stick. If I can hit the glue. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, more than one way to skin a cat, ain't they? Okay. Alright, then the second thing we want to do is... Let me find myself here. Run. <laughs> Run. Sometimes literally it says. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get this one off a little bit better than I did that last one here. Come on now. Get them over there. And the third thing, okay, the third thing is, do -do 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 -do. I'm having a hard time seeing this stuff. Let's see. Say no. There we go. Say no when confronted. with what we know is wrong. Here we go. <clears throat> I didn't want this video to be too awful long. Um, Sometimes when we've got a lot of verses, though, they might end up being a little bit long or might even go into two-parters. Uh, but anyway, um, I hope everything's okay with everybody, and I hope you all have a great day and a great week. And I was going to look for one more thing real quick that I wanted to put on the bottom. Yeah, 
Here we go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. That's a good one. <laughs> because we need to trust in the Lord, not believe what Satan throws at us. So, amen to that. All right. Well, I thank you all for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed our little lesson. I'm going to try to do with uh, do this every day if I can. Now, I might not be able to all the time. Um, I'm going to write faith over here. Take up some of this ring. And we'll go around him with this color. And then this color. All right, there's my scripture writing for today. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. And, uh, okay, so I hope you all enjoyed that lesson for today. And remember to live, love, laugh, and laugh some more because laughter is the best medicine. And I hopefully will see you back here tomorrow. Make sure you keep doing your scripture writing and reading God's word. Thanks a lot for joining me. Bye-bye.